Hi everybody! I decided to make a video on my second labor and delivery because I am 18 weeks pregnant right now on my third and um, I just like going down memory lane and I thought maybe some of it might help you. Um, so maybe I'll start with number one briefly just to give you some contrast. Um, my first <clears throat> My first uh, labor and delivery was when I was 25, and it was your, I'd say, um, standard hospital delivery. Um, it wasn't necessarily horrible or anything, but we just left some things uh, that I didn't enjoy uh, as far as I felt really kind of like everything was out of my hands, except it was all in my hands in, in many respects. So I felt like I had to wait for all the doctors. I felt like the doctors were telling me what was best. And in a sense, yes, they know what's, what was best, but I mean, it's still my body. I know <laughs> certain things. So um, it felt good, I think, to have it out of hospital because I didn't have family around, if more people around to help. Um, I did have a doula, which was very nice also. Um, so it did suit me in that um, situation, um, uh, but all in all my uh, labor and delivery took close to 18 hours uh, when I involved the hospital and you know it could have been worse, I didn't have stitches or anything, um, I had an epidural, um, my plan wasn't to have an epidural, I wanted to do it naturally but at a hospital they tend to put you on a time schedule and then they say oh, well, you're not progressing enough, so I guess you need pit Pitocin. And then you're kind of in this situation where you're like, okay, well, you guys know better. And so it's really hard to advocate for yourself. And then um, since you're on Pitocin, well, that increases your your uh, contractions. And so then you feel like, oh, maybe I can't do contractions. So then I got the epidural. And so thankfully for me, I didn't really have any adverse effects from the epidural. It went, um, it, the... Insertion happened um, uh, pretty textbook, nothing to worry about. Um, I was actually really afraid of that, by the way. <laughs> but um, in the end, you know, I don't get down on myself because I did it. Um, it made sense for, you know, the scheme of things then. But anyways, fast forward another seven years to my second pregnancy. And um, I was planning a natural birth in a birth center because... Um, well, it seemed like a good step between uh, hospital birth and home birth, or even unassisted birth, which I'm not really sure it would ever be my goal. But anyway, so um, the main topic of this video is about my second labor and delivery, which was amazing. Um, so um, the Pregnancy went very well, other than I gained a lot more weight than I did my first pregnancy, which was very concerning, actually. But, I mean, health-wise, it was all fine. Um, and uh, I was planning on having a natural water birth at the birth center in Englewood, Colorado. We don't live there anymore, so I'm sharing. Um, it's a great place if you um, are interested in the birthing center in Englewood. Um, I totally recommend them. It's a wonderful place. But anyway, so I went through all their um, their uh, prenatal care there. Um, they're very uh, knowledgeable and confident and caring and all that. So I was very well cared for. They even had a um, prenatal chiropractor who would visit on certain days. So I did one or two chiropractic sessions with her. You know, you're not required to, but it's you know pretty accessible. So. Um, in my first pregnancy, I had preterm labor and I, uh, went into full on labor at 37 weeks on the day. And, um, for my second one, I was like, well, maybe it'll be that too. But actually my second one went to almost 39 weeks and I was unbearably huge. I mean, I gained close to, uh, 50 pounds, I think. <laughs> Um, and my first pregnancy, I gained hardly 25 pounds. <laughs> but anyway, so um, what was really special about the second labor and delivery was that I went into labor on the morning of my birthday, 
on my own birthday. So on my birthday, my gift is labor and delivery. <laughs> but, you know, looking back, it's, it's so incredibly memorable. So anyways, much like my first labor and delivery, which uh, talking to my midwife this third time, she says a lot of women's bodies have um, a pattern that they go through. So it does make a lot of sense that in my first and second um, labors started early in the morning, just about one o'clock in the morning. And they both started out like I had to go pee and then my water broke. Um, I don't remember if it, it was entirely uh, the second time around, but I know it broke. And um, well, part of my mind was saying, well, this could take forever or it could take very short, but it was early in the morning. And so I just decided I'm going to labor on my own um, in the bed. I was letting my husband sleep as long as he could. Even in labor, we're, we can be so kind, right? <laughs> but anyway, so um, I was trying to still sleep. I was laboring and I was somewhat checking the the um, contractions. Uh, that part's kind of fuzzy, but I, I know I progressed really well. Um, and uh, about 4.30, I got to a point where I could barely um, think. I could barely talk and I was like, oh no, it's coming. This is pretty serious now. I got to get him up and we have to go to the birth center because it was 30 minutes away and I was like, uh oh, this sounds, this feels like active labor. So, um, my husband got to sleep an extra four and a half hours. I woke him up and, um, we packed up the car. We got to the birth center, um, a little after five and oh my gosh, that car ride was just, I, I was on the edge of my seat because I was afraid that I was going to have the baby in the car. <laughs> um, um, and then, um, we got to the birth center, uh, checked in, um, to our room about, um, I'd say 5.15 ish. And by the time I got, you know, settled, um, whatever prenatal or whatever vital checks they did to me. And then by the time I got in the birth pool, I was pretty much ready to push, except nobody told me. <laughs> but anyway, so I was in the birth pool. You know, I thought it was going to be almost like an epidural, like totally awesome. But it really wasn't as much of a pain reliever as I had um, expected. So that was a little bit disappointing. But it did help kind of uh, with the sensory issues. Um, it kind of helped me be more centered when um, contractions would come on and I, I felt a lot more uh, in tune. So yeah, by the time I got in the pool, it was 20 minutes later and I had um, essentially uh, birthed my <laughs> second child, Gabriel, on my birthday in the morning. Um, but what's really funny about it and something that I learned from my current midwife, at the time it felt really funny and I still revel in it. Uh, but it's actually very textbook. Um, I remember like for most of the time I was like, oh man, I really feel like I have to <laughs> do a bowel movement. And I was so um, embarrassed because I was in front of my husband. I didn't want to have to do it in front of my husband. But then finally, like two minutes, you know, before he was born, I was like, I'm sorry. I, just, I, I have to have a bowel movement. I, I can't do it. Um, I don't think I can push him out until I have this bowel movement. And so she's like, Okay, the midwife was like, "Okay, honey, um, go ahead. It's it's always it's been done before," and uh, so I was just <laughs> grinning and bearing, anticipating the embarrassment of um, putting floaters into the birth pool and having my husband see. Uh, and it turned out, as I was thinking, I was having a bowel movement. The midwife says, "Honey, look at your baby's head." I was like what? I thought I was having a bowel movement. <laughs> so I didn't even know I was pushing out my baby. Like, so as far as crowning goes, the ring of fire or anything like that, I was unaware. And that was just such a, a grace thing to me. Like I, I felt like I went through the hardest part of it, not even realizing I had done it. So, um, yeah, it was surreal. So, um, it was just under five hours that I went through my first contraction to pushing out 
my second child in the birthing pool, it was the greatest experience. Um, I would, I mean, if it's within somebody's desire, I would totally encourage you. Um, of course, prepare yourself as much as you can, but don't ever, ever question your ability to do it. Um, because I went from the hospital delivery, um, and, you know, originally when I was deciding to do a natural birth, yeah, it was a little daunting because I had never experienced it, but, um, you know, somebody told me that Mother Nature, which is part of me, would take care of it, and so, um, by the time I got there, I, I never questioned myself, and it, and in fact, when I was laboring by myself, one of the most powerful things I ever did, which I, I know I will do this time around, when uh, September comes around when my baby is due, um, that I will do it again. And it was when the contractions started coming, I really got in the zone of that the contractions are my body. It's what my body wants to do. And so I decided to... Um, really be in harmony with my body, partner with my body, and not fight the contractions, but but kind of um, help them along. And um, so it was a lot more peaceful. It was a lot more meditative in a sense. Um, I felt so in tune with my body. And even though it was uncomfortable, I really felt confident that my body was doing exactly what it was meant to do in, in that exact moment. And I believe that's, I credit that with, the reason why it went by so fast. I mean, I, I was floored that it happened that fast. So um, if anything that I learned, um, my third labor and delivery will probably happen early in the morning about one o'clock. I will probably have my waters break just like the other two. And it'll probably be on a day where um, um, I don't have anything left to do. Like my first uh, labor and delivery happened uh, right after my Thanksgiving break happened for when I was working in a school. So, uh, you know, everything ramps up before Thanksgiving break and then you relax because now you're on break. And then my uh, with my second labor and delivery, which was the focus of this movie, it was the day after the last event that my, I had to truck my kids to. And bam, then my labor and delivery. And so um, this year, I have a feeling it's going to be the same way. And so, uh, yeah, I, I just am really excited to see how things will turn out this time. I'm going for a home birth. And uh, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on it already. I really felt like most of my birth was home anyways. Um, I didn't have a doula, you know, uh, putting counter pressure on back. I basically did it all by myself. It was almost unassisted. I mean, I even feel confident enough that, hey, maybe I should just go unassisted. And actually, my doula is about an hour away. <laughs> so th things could go really crazy with a third um, labor. And I might end up having to do it on my own. You know, I, I need to be pre pre prepared for everything. But um, I'm just really excited. I feel like I'm a pro by, uh, by now, um, and my second time around the, the uh, what do you call it, postnatal experience was just divine. Um, that is the difference with a birthing center or having a midwife. Um, they made me like um, a uterine strengthening uh, uh, herbal mix uh, to take a bath, that's what I remember, to kind of help it heal. And they made me a snack. They put my baby Gabriel on my chest and told me not to do anything, not to get out of bed other than to use the bathroom and just have him on my chest for two weeks and just nurse, you know, as, as he wants, whatever, whatever. And um, I think that was, it was so awesome. It was so surreal. And I love that experience. And I feel so bonded to my child um, through that, um, through what they... Um, suggested to me. So I would love that for all of you guys too. I, I think that's the way people should experience birth as just being this kind of like a mystery adventure and that it's something you're already prepared for, something you're, you're already equipped to do and that you're just excited to see 
the final act. And um, so again, oh, I'm getting breathless. <laughs> At 18 weeks pregnant, um, I'm, st I'm looking forward and um, I'm really excited to join the motherhood all over again with uh, my final baby. So um, if you have any questions or if you want any more um, details, this I I'd be happy to answer your comments or in a more you know private email or whatever. But um, thank you very much for tuning in and I hope you found this uh, video enlightening and helpful. Again, I'm not a doula, I'm not a midwife and I, I don't have a medical background, but I do have a birthing background just by my own life with my two kids. So um, I say all this with as much encouragement and acceptance and care that I can send to you. Um, anyways, um, in your present and future pregnancies, I wish you much health and joy. Bye.